Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got during our half trading day of June 2, 2020. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate bond ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the market sectors table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell real estate sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $34.14. For put option, a possible put price is at Energy sector ETF is a strong sell suggestion. It is on a bull high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return off. You may expect now a sell return of 1.5%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $39.78, but we expect a possible sell price of $40.63. In addition, we suggest to stop selling energy sector ETF. If it is over 3.50% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, energy sector ETF has a striking price at $41. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.40. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Chevron Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 6.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $94.45. For put option, a possible put price is at $2.27. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock stable of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Morgan Stanley. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 14.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $45.02. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.55. Charles Schwab was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Charles Schwab is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.3%. You may expect now a sell return of 4.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $35.63. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $37.5. On the put option table, Charles Schwab has a striking price at $39. For this option, the actual put price is at $2.13.
but we expect a possible put price at $1.51. real estate sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 12.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $58.34. For put option, a possible put price is at $6.09. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the trade low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy Raytheon Technologies. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 10.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $64.96. For call option, a possible call price is at $1.95. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell General Electric. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $6.76. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.01. United Parcel Service was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that United Parcel Service is a bull normal class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 2.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.4%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $99.46. But we expect a possible buy price of $98.36. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $101.66. On the put option table, United Parcel Service has a striking price at $102. For this option, the actual put price is at $3.1. But we expect a possible put price at $1.92. Material sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a weak opportunity to buy Sherwin-Williams. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of half a percent. You may buy it at a maximum price of $589.28. For call option, a possible call price is at $14.46. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $203.45. For put option, a possible put price is at $6.6. Sherwin Williams was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Sherwin-Williams is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 2.0%. You may expect now a buy return of half a percent. 
we suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $591.11, but we expect a possible sell price of $595.92. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $575.05. On the call option table, Sherwin-Williams has a striking price at $570. For this option, the actual call price is at $27.8 but we expect a possible call price at four. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a mild opportunity to buy McDonald's. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $187.5. For call option, a possible call price is at $6.4. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Netflix Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.9%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $423.89. For put option, a possible put price is at $11.7. Consumer staples ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of staples sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell ST Lauder. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $190.68. For put option, a possible put price is at $6.11. Costco Wholesale is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bear high class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.8%. You may expect now a sell return of 0.8%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $305.18, but we expect a possible sell price of $315.34. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Costco Wholesale. If it is over 0.20% of your stock price trade. On the put option table, Costco Wholesale has a striking price at $320. For this option, the actual put price is at $15.23, but we expect a possible put price at $6.96. Technology Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Activision Blizzard. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.2%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $72.27. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.78. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Comcast Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $39.94. For put option, a possible put price is at $1.06. Comcast Corporation was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Comcast Corporation is a bull high class, 
In the past, it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 5.0%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $38.63. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $41.47. On the put option table, Comcast Corporation has a striking price at $42. For this option, the actual put price is at $1.87, but we expect a possible put price at $1.06. Utility Sector ETF belongs to the bull high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell Nextera Energy. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 3.0%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $244.14. For put option, a possible put price is at $6.32. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good update of our half trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.